Today we are looking at the 4M Linux 47.0. So this is an independent Linux distribution. The country of origin is it's from the Poland. So here you can see the stable release and about the release notes. Here is the complete release notes of the 4M Linux 47.0. So the desktop environment you get the JWM. So this is how the distro looks. And the kernel here is the 6.6 .6, which is the LTS version. So I'm going to go through all those things in a few seconds or maybe in a few minutes. So I'm going to close everything and here you can see all the information like a X Orge, Pulse Audio, everything like a RAM usage, swap and everything. Uptime is almost like a 7 minutes. So when we go to the official website, here you should be seeing the applications are updated. The library office uh, updated to the 24.8 and the gnome office which is AB Word 3.0.5 and the GIMP 2.10.38 numeric 1.12 and the thunderbird you get the 128 and also the vlc firefox 133 and the chrome 131 so here you can easily see and get all the information from the release notes so these are all the main changes of this 47.0 uh, and in order to download you can just click on the download here but it's better to go to the source forge and you need to download it from here from there so when you click on the uh, download, it's going to uh, show just some donation things. So it's better to go with the source forge. Type in source forge and you should be getting the ISO files from there or else let me show you because uh, some of my viewers uh, try to ask in the comment section how to download. So it's better to show them uh, right here. Just type in like a uh, source forge. If you want, you can just add it like a .NET. and hit enter and also the internet is taking a lot of time to open here i don't know why maybe because of the distro but uh, my, my i am using a vpn and also it, it has a good speed so i don't have any issues with the internet and here you should be seeing uh, it's taking a bit of time here so sometimes it's going to give some error sometimes it's going to work uh, in the 4m linux it's going to do this type of things but when you are using other operating system in order to download the 4m there will be no uh, issues. So when you get the source forge uh, homepage, just type in like a 4M Linux and the project will be available. So I'm just going to restart it later, the browser. So here is the project. Just click on the 4M Linux and here you should be getting some information of uh, 4M Linux. If you are new for the 4M Linux, you should be getting all this information. And uh, when you see here, you should be seeing all the project activities. But if you want to go with the files, just go with the files and you can download from the ISO file there. So the main thing you should be getting the 4M Linux 47.0 on the top, uh, top side or else you can just go to the uh, folders like a 47.0 or if you want the older versions, you can go with the 46 like that. And here is the live CD and here you should be seeing all the information. It says like a current beta, but uh, uh, the stable version is already released and here you should be seeing the 64-bit ISO and here is the core ISO so you need to download the 47.0 and it's going to take like a 5 seconds and you should be getting the download and the kernel we are using the 6.6 .6, which is supported until December 2026 here is the ISO file it's around like a 1.4 GB you can call it like a 1.5 GB round figure I'm going to close everything and uh, let's we already saw the kernel version. Let me show you the kernel. So here you should be seeing 6.6. .6. And uh, when you type in like about semicolon support, here you should be getting all the distro information. So here you should be also seeing the kernel, which is 6.6. .6. And 6.6 .6 is the LTS version, or the long term version. And if you want to see how many years it's going to support, you just need to click on the releases. And here is all the description of whatever the, it is called. Like if it's uh, LTS, here is the description of whatever it is called. And the 6.6 .6 is supported until December 2026, which I already mentioned. And it was released on 2023, 10, 29. So that was some information about the kernel. And here you should be also seeing some additional information about the browser. It's an old browser. But you get the Mesa latest version, which is uh, mentioned right in the release notes. I guess let's find the Mesa. So here is the Mesa. You should be getting 24.1.5. And the same thing is right here. 
and uh, you should be seeing some additional information like uh, monitor resolutions and all those things in this uh, information and there will be some browser information so so i'm just going to close everything here is the 4m uh, linux 47.0 stable released let's even close it i already showed you the downloading process so this these are all the main changes you can easily see the release notes and you can end the video right here or else we can open all the applications and let me show you so the library office let's go to the office and uh, let's find the li library office so there is no library office right now you can install it there will be uh, applications uh, available right here they they will be providing all those things when you hover over all those things so there is like a numeric application there is like a ab world let me open the ab world when you go to the version 3.0.5 so which is mentioned right here so they're going to be providing like a, let me show you all those things Devil settings, 4M Linux website. Here is the extensions. You can download from the uh, extensions like a library office. When you download it, you should be getting the same version. When you download the GIMP, you should be getting the version uh, which is mentioned right here, which is uh, VLC is 3.0 and Audacious GIMP should be 2.10.38 if you download those uh, from the extensions. So here are all the applications let me show you so game krita inkscape you get the content creating applications and there is like a some set display setting issues in the virtual machines i don't know it's going to perform better on the main disk uh main bay metal or the on the real hardware so here are all the browsers if you want to go with the firefox you can download the firefox and here are the net apps so you should be seeing all these things uh, whenever you download so there is also like a wine and everything so these are all the main changes so other than that i don't think there is like a major changes or anything like that so i think i should end the video right here because uh, these are all the main changes it's not like a major update or anything like that in my point of view so the python you get the 2.7.18 and also 3.12.5 and the ruby 3.3.4 and based on uh, busybox 1.36.1 you get the wine 9.21 so it's just the application updates and as the new the new major release has some new features like a gnome cd master dia and uh, the glue so they added everything right here you can get all those information so again there are all the same things just the application updates i don't see any new changes like a uh, appearance or anything like that and the country of origin uh, it, it is from the Poland which I already mentioned so if you like the uh, 4m Linux you can try it on the uh, virtual machines if you're already running the older version uh, it's better to wait for a few more days I guess or else you can go and uh, try it on your own if you don't see any issues you can install it right away or else it's better to wait for a few more days because the 4m Linux always releases the point updates like a 47.1 46.2 like this so it's better to wait for a few more days i guess and these are all the pre-installed applications you get and these were the main changes so just for the applications i don't want to open a bunch of applications and show you all those things because it will be a waste of time so these were the changes so i'm just going to end the video so this was the video of 4m linux 47.0 and i will be posting videos daily so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe and uh, here is all the resource consumption and other than that i will see you in tomorrow's video peace out